W.H. Auden once noted, thousands have lived without love, not one without water. Less than 1% of the earth's fresh water is actually accessible to us. Does this mean that we don't have enough water? To answer this question, we've conducted a survey on the students of Emerson Tun Abraza and the results show that 21% of the respondents face water shortage issues more than 3 times a month and 22% of the respondents admitted to using more than 50 liters of water every day. This is concerning as around 1.1 billion people worldwide face water shortage problems on a daily basis. Just imagine how tough it is living your everyday life knowing that there may never be enough water available for even the most basic needs such as drinking. Their conditions aren't improving anytime soon and this may affect the future generations terribly if the worst were to happen. These problems are made even worse by those using huge amounts of water in particular industries. To give you a deeper look, 70% of water used in industries are from agriculture and farming activities. Most of the water used in these activities are lost through evaporation. This means that most of the water we use in agriculture didn't even make it to the plants. As the driving force of today's ever-growing technology, we must utilize the resources given to provide a better alternative to the inefficient methods of water usage today. Farmers around the world have been using drip irrigation to water their plants. It works even better than watering their plants manually and water is delivered directly to the roots through tubes that go underground. Drip irrigation can save up to 80% more than conventional irrigation and it also saves on energy and costs in the long run. Water pollution is a huge problem too, especially when you're looking at areas that don't necessarily have a good sewage system. Pollution can be anything from oil to carcasses to chemicals and fecal matter. No matter what it is though, it makes a lot of issues for the people who may need to use it. You can't really wash clothes if the water itself will cause the clothes to be dirty now, can you? I mean, it wouldn't only cause a problem for washing clothes, but even for other activities such as drinking, cleaning, or even cooking. Japan is a perfect example of what our country should be doing in order to approach this problem. The city's wastewater treatment plants meet strict environmental standards including advanced treatment systems, sludge incineration or recycling facilities, and energy saving and renewable energy equipment. In addition to conventional purification measures of sedimentation, filtering, and disinfection, Tokyo has added ozonation and biologically activated carbon absorption treatment. These complete a treatment system that provides safe, delicious water by eliminating the causes of bad smells and substances that result in harmful trihalomethane. Our country should take a deeper look into our water sewage system and provide it with more care so that we can resolve the problem of water pollution. To end this video, we would like to clarify that water shortage is a real issue that affects the way people live today. Hence, why it is so crucial that we take actions now to ensure a better life for those who are affected. Let's make a better planet for those after us so they don't have to live in a world built upon our mistakes and ignorance.